Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Right now I'm in the National Forest somewhere in Oregon and I am here with 16 friends, a whole bunch of us, and we're going to do a minivan build. That's what we're doing here. Let me get turned around and let me get over here and you can there you can hear them in the background. I'm not sure how much. I've got a lav mic on and my lapel and I'm not sure if you can hear them or not. We'll find out. Uh, and we're actually here doing a minivan build. Can you see it? No, you can't really see it because my big fat nose is in the way. Right over here is a minivan. We're under a big tarp and they're over there working on it right now. Today we're going to meet the folks who are still here at the van build. Some folks have already gone, but this is who's left. Uh, who's who's gone? Kenny was here and Missy. Mm -hmm. Is that all? Everyone else is still here. I think so. Uh, I think Eric so. was here and helped. Eric. Eric. Eric's gone. Okay, so almost all of us are still here, and we're starting to scatter. The van's almost done. Before everyone leaves, I thought I'd get a video. Uh, the main purpose I want to make this video is so you'll know who did it and they'll get the credit and that's so important. Uh, I haven't done this build, these folks did the build and I just so appreciate that. And so that you'll know that in the future I hope to do many, many more van builds. I mean, uh, as the money comes in to Homes on Wheels Alliance, I'm hoping to do hundreds. I'd, I'd be glad to do a hundred van builds a year, do them all around the country. Uh, bring in lots of volunteers and so we need your help and before you volunteer it's good if you know what it was what it was like what we've done uh, this will be a function of Homes on Wheels Alliance the 501 c3 that Sue Ann and I have started my friend my very good friend Sue Ann and uh, we are building minivans and giving them away that's the whole goal we've got a great great home uh, we've made for someone we're gonna give it away here in the next month or so and so uh, the minivan builds, I hope to be all over the country. The need is enormous. And so we need your help to fulfill it. And so we're just gonna go around and everyone will tell what they did and, uh, and you'll know what's going on. And we'll get to meet people and give them credit. All right, hi everyone. I'm Joni Zander. I'm with the Gala Van on YouTube. And I design cargo vans, and so I was brought in to help with the design of the van and to draw out the plans. I also did a couple of, you know, uh, supply runs, that sort of thing, but uh, but mostly uh, just design and plans. And love the program. Love love what you guys are doing.
next up is John, and John, you are uh, kind of a jack of all trades here. What uh, what were you involved in? I got here actually on day two or three, and so already the plywood flooring had been installed and the bed was started. So uh, I just uh, did the vinyl flooring installation and then helped with building the cabinets and just generally uh, whatever was needed. What we were trying to do is just take like battery powered saws and like DeWalt drills and make cabinets. So we weren't trying to do anything complicated. We wanted to make this as simple as possible using common materials that are easily available inexpensive you can get them at Lowe's, Home Depot if you have maybe some skills you don't have to be a skilled cabinet maker I mean uh, if you're just using screws and plywood we just use the simplest of materials and then of course once I got here I saw my gosh all these people have uh, come together and with such a wide variety of skills and not only that but the people out there in YouTube land who saw that we had some needs and were uh, willing to purchase materials for the van build solar panels battery because you know we needed wiring and all kinds of other associated materials but um, it was really fun I would recommend anybody you don't have to be skilled to do a van build either to help with the Homes on Wheels Alliance van builds or if you want to do a van build in your own home or in your own van and uh, it's not that it's not it's not an impossible task so it was uh, good to be a participant and uh, boy I would I would highly recommend it to other people I'm just a retired guy that uh, likes hanging out in the woods <laughs> so this is my kind of place and nomadic people hey they're my kind of people so gosh I had a really great time. Okay, and James, tell us about your experience here. Well, I've been following you for several months, Bob, and uh, was really enjoying your channel and um, was planning on taking my van up to uh, the Redwoods uh, this time of month, and then I saw that you were doing a van build, and uh, so I put my application in, and thank God you guys uh, invited me up because it's just been a wonderful, wonderful experience meeting uh, Cliff and Karen and just uh, John and uh, working with Cliff, my goodness, that man is a, a <laughs> dynamo. And uh, I felt like it, it took John and I just to keep up with him. And uh, we couldn't get him to take enough breaks. <laughs> but uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful experience. And uh, like John, I've just got basic skills. John's much better than I am, but uh, I learned a lot from Cliff and, and John. And just followed them around and uh, I know Cliff, you generally do the photography, but uh, right. you were doing so much of the band build, I just tried to grab a camera and keep up with you guys. So thank you, and uh, it's been a, a great pleasure. And thanks to everybody that's donated. Uh, seeing the boxes come in from Amazon, uh, it's uh, quite amazing.
Okay, going around the circle here, next we'll meet Cliff. And Cliff, boy, what what didn't you do here, Cliff? Tell us, uh, tell us about your experience. Well, there was a few of us that were kind of turning the screws and cutting the wood and, and kind of placing stuff. Um, for this kind of work, uh, compared to other projects I've worked on, one of the nice things was is that we had so much planning and actually drawn plans uh, that it made our work much, much easier. And there was a lot of decisions that people helped make with the intent of making the van the easiest for a person to use. So uh, our work in uh, doing that was much aided by uh, having a good plan to start from. So that was really big help. And, and a lot of people came along and contributed ideas, little things that we added that made it much nicer and more functional. So it was really nice working with a group of people uh, that helped and had passionate ideas and wanting to make the van nice uh, for the person that will receive it. Tell us about your experience, Tim. Hi, everybody. My name's Tim, and I'm the mechanic. I was lucky enough to be selected by Hala to come in and give him some advice on the van. Uh, the van was in really great shape. Uh, just a few minor things had to be done. But uh, I'm really proud to be here with all these people. They are truly wonderful people. That's about it. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, so you've done some repairs on it, a few minor things that needed, and you're putting in probably going to put in new struts, so... Yes, sir. Okay.
And next we're going to meet Karen. And Karen, you were busy, busy, busy here at the Van Build. What did you do? Sanding and varnishing, making the surfaces smooth and so somebody will be able to keep them clean fairly easily. And um, really that's about it. But I was, I was really excited about being involved in this because I've known you and come to so many RTRs and met so many people and seen the situation that a lot of people are living in and the amount of the small amount of money they get every month and to be able to do something that will help them I was really happy to be involved in this. So there you have it folks just a great crew that uh, we're going to change someone's life. Someone is in desperate need of a place to live and because of the caring of these folks who actually put their hands on the tools and on the wood and made it happen and all you out there who have contributed money watched my videos uh, bought things on the wish list and sent them to us we've got solar panels up there now and it's a complete home ready to go we're going to change someone's life from night to day and it's all because of these great folks and you so thank you so much we're going to do a lot more van builds we'll let you know about them as they happen uh, hopefully they'll accelerate as money comes in to Homes on Wheels Alliance and we can do more and more. We'll let you know. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you're inspired to reach out to someone near you and contribute and make their life better. If we'll all do that in big ways and in many, many small ways, the world will be a far better place. All right, we'll talk to you later.